this little bird you're not going to see very often at all. It's a pale-headed rosella and I'm taking this shot from inside through the window so hopefully it's not too bad quality because it's very very shy. There he goes. <laughs> oh, well there he was and there he went <laughs> real quick. I think the dogs must have scared it away. Hopefully he'll be back. Beautiful little bird it was. Pale head and blue feathers. Hopefully we'll catch him again soon. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a waterfall pour for you today with a cloud effect. So waterfall as in my surface is up on an angle like that. I've just got a little container under there to hold it up and I'm going to pour down and that's the waterfall effect. And then for the clouds, I'm using the Deco Art Satin Enamels. So in my white here, I have got three parts Artist Loft to one part Satin Enamels. And I've mixed that one to one with Floetrol. And then uh, these, oh, this blue, I didn't have any of the dark blue of the Liquitex Basics anymore, so I found this. This is um, Deco Art Americana Primary Blue. Now this is really, really thin in here, so I've actually had to mix it two parts paint to one part Floetrol to get it to the same consistency. So that's that one. This metallic I still had this left over from my previous pour, so I didn't want to waste it. That's why I'm doing another pour and I've made up some more paints. It's the Deco Art Metallic Rose Gold. I would have liked gold, but I didn't have any, so I'm just using up my rose gold. Uh, this, again, was very thin. I had to mix two parts of this paint to one part Floetrol, so same as the, the dark blue. And then my two Liquitex Basics, I've got black and light permanent blue. And I've mixed them two parts flow troll to one part paint. Oh, so that's it. And I'm just going to put it in a paper cup and I'm going to just pour down here and let the paint flow down. All right, let's just move that out of the way for a minute so I can do my layering. Um, I'll put a little bit of white in the bottom first. Like so. And then some blue. Now this copper, I keep calling it copper, it looks like copper, it's rose gold. It's very reactive, so I'm only going to use a little bit. And then some black. I think the rose gold and the black would look really pretty together. And then some blue. And then I don't want the light blue with the white, so I'm going to go with the dark blue again. I want lots of dark blue in this pour. A little bit more of the white. And, oh, what will I do then? I guess I'll have to do this. No, I don't really want that. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go with the dark blue again. There we go. And I'll go the light blue. Let's put some more of that on. A little bit more black and I'm just going to pour this from up high just so it goes down the bottom there. Oh look I've got enough paint for another pour. I hardly used any of that. The whole reason for me doing this pour was to use up that metallic. It means I'm going to have to make another painting. Okay let's pop that up there and I'm going to stand behind it. Normally I stand this way but I'm actually going to stand behind it this time and I'm going to pinch that and I'm just going to start pouring. I might do a bit of a, a jiggle pour, I'm not sure, as in just moving the cup up and down like so. I'm basically just staying in the one spot. And just letting the paint flow down. Just riddling my cup up and down, up and down. It's not going very straight, is it? Okay, 
becomes all the copper. You only used a tiny bit, but it really takes over. And just slow down as I get towards the end of the cup. I'm going to have to catch it before it runs off the other end. Okay, let's drop that down before I lose it all. This is just my 30 by 40 centimetre card that I use. Still getting questions about it. I've got the links up from eBay and Amazon on my Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. If you want to buy them, it's just a really thick card. This is a 950 gram. Um, maybe box board or matting. It has a few different names. I just buy it as thick card on eBay. All right, let's give that a bit of a torch. See how the copper really took over? And I, oh, again, copper. See how the metallic really took over? I only put a tiny little bit in, a little blob. I was really going for more dark blue. I put pretty much that whole cup of dark blue in, but um, this metallic's taken over. Um, yeah, put a little bit of black just on my corners. Because I can't see a lot of black in that pore. I was going for like a nice dark blue painting, but <laughs> doesn't look as if it's going to be that. It looks more metallic. Let's see what happens when I stretch it out though. Maybe I can get some more black popping through. Right, oh, look, look at these little clouds that are appearing already from that metallic. It's very reactive, the Deco Art metallic. I thought it was just the um, Deco Art satin enamel that was reactive. I didn't realize that maybe it's just a Deco Art thing. Let me go up this other corner while I'm up here. Turn it around so I'm not tilting away from you. I'm going to hang on to my corner so I don't lose it. And if I think I've got too much metallic here, I'll just tip it off that way because this is opening up now and looking really pretty. I don't want to lose all my blue. Actually, I think I'll do the same to that other corner. I'll just turn it and then I can do that other corner. Probably looks a bit strange being black corner like that. Taking my two puppies to the airport this morning. After I've done this pour, I go and jump in the shower and get ready. They're both flying out today. My two teacup poodle puppies. So it's not a long flight. Uh, they do have to catch two different planes because there's no direct flight from the Sunshine Coast to Adelaide for dogs. So they'll be changing planes in Melbourne. Um, but they only stay there for an hour and a half, so it won't be too bad. And uh, the company that I use, Jet Pets, so, you know, obviously used to flying animals. And um, they have their staff come and take the dog and move them to the... The puppy lounge where they can get out and stretch their legs and go to the toilet, have a drink. So that's what's happening today with me. And then I need to set up for my class tomorrow, my workshop. I really like this blue here. Not so much there. Hey dogs. And um, where did my satin enamel white go? That's just gone. Maybe I didn't use enough. Because it hasn't really come to the party at all, has it? Just encouraging that blue to go over.
Well, this is a very strange pour. It's not at all what I was expecting. I guess I just didn't use enough white. It's all, all copper, which is not what I was after. Let it run down a little bit that way. Might make up a little bit more paint. And pour over it. I'm just going to take this straight down now and let some of this paint run down. Well, I'm not loving that. I can tell you right now, not loving that at all. Let me get another cup. It's almost as if my paint's too thick. I'm going to throw all that white in there. Just whatever I've got left. going to do a dirty pour, throw all the paint just straight into the white, let it mix. I haven't got much blue left. Pour some of that in. I have got some, uh, actually let me just make up some more blue because I want some more blue. So I'll just pop that on my scale there for a minute. And I'm going to actually mm, indecisive, indecisive. I have got some of this blue. It's not really, no, it's not really dark enough. I'm just going to make up some or more of this other blue. And I'm going to put, what have I got there? I've got 30 grams of that. And I'm just going to put some more of this. Deco art in here, and let's see, that's equal amounts there, one to one. Maybe I'll leave it at that, see if that works any better. Mm, I'll leave it at that, equal parts of that, and I'm just going to all that in from up high like so and my black I'm going to put a little bit of water in that never done a dirty pour like this with the deco out um, satin enamel I've always layered it so let's pour that in from up high and then a little bit of this metallic from up high as well. There we go. I've got a full cup. So let's see how that goes. Um, now, where's my little cup? I'm going to do this again. Pop that under there. Let's see what happens this time around, eh? Much thinner this time round, much lighter. Still going off to the side. Gee, I hope it's not going to be so light all the way down. Oh dear, look at all that white. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Give it a bit of a torch. It's very pale, 
so much for my dark, moody, metallic pour that I wanted. Not going to happen with this one. Maybe my mix was, maybe this was too thick last time. Probably should have just stuck to one to one because I'm getting much more effects now. All right, I'm going to take this up this end first because that's a lot of white. I can get over there. And let's go over to the opposite corner. And then back. To this corner <laughs> it's flowing nicely because it's got a nice base coat there to flow across little pops of copper showing up here and there now let's just take that straight off that corner there Leave that little tiny copper corner there. I think that's quite pretty. Okay. And I'm just going to take some of this white off the top. Again, it hasn't really reacted that much, my white. For some reason it's funny sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it really comes down to the consistency of your paint as to what reaction you're going to get And of course the um, brand of paints that you're using so as you can see in this one again the metallic is really reactive where the the clouds are is where the metallic paint is just popping some bubbles Looks like um, the ocean flowing across some rocks, and then there's all the froth from the ocean. I'll leave it for a little bit and see what it what it does, but I'm not loving it at the moment. So I'll give it a bit of time, see what happens, if anything. Um, yeah, as I said, just leftover paint, so, but I still was expecting something nice, but I'm not loving it at the moment. Lots more of the coppers coming up as I'm speaking. Uh, so I will just pause the video and I'll come back to you shortly. Looks as if more coppers popping up. Wow, how reactive is it? Huh? It's just bizarre just bizarre how reactive that copper is metallic there it is rose gold decar art dazzling metallics is what's doing it hmm all right um i said i'll pause it i'll come back to you and we'll see what happens Just zoom in, get you centered. It does look like boulders though, doesn't it? Okay, it's about centered. So uh, we'll come back and see what's happened. Okay guys, so it's been about 15 minutes or so and you can see that the metallic 
has grown more. I don't think it's going to do much more than that. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. <laughs> Again, certainly not what I was looking for, but it's a good little test for that Deco Art metallic rose gold because it seems to be the only thing that has reacted in this pour. So interesting, if you've got any of that paint, give it a go. Um, yeah, it works really well. All right, I will leave it at that. Just as well it's on a card because I'm not impressed with it. I can just, when it's dry, I can just slide it on my big pile of cards that I've practiced on. So without wasting a canvas. So they're good to use for that respect. Okay, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.